What are you willing to share about your quarterback plans? You know, um, it's been it's been rehearsed a bunch of times right now, but <laughs> let's be honest with you. You know, we we are definitely in the quarterback hunting business. Um, and we got to go out and we got to find ways to acquire them. You know the ways we can do it with free agency, the trade, uh, or the draft. Um, we're going to have an aggressive plan on whatever that is, whether that be aggressive movement in free agency or whether that's an aggressive move in our draft, whether we going up, going back, staying put, whatever the case may be. But we want to have that type of mentality to go out there and find our guy to give us long-term success. Um, and the thing I'll tell you also, Rich, is we've done a nice job of, you know, acquiring a bunch of coaches with a lot of quarterback experience. When you're talking about Zach Robinson, TJ Yates, Ken Zampezi, DJ Williams, KJ Black, um, you're talking about Chandler Whitmire and some of those different guys that have coached different quarterbacks around this league uh, at different points of their career in order to get opinions in the room for the decision makers to allow them to make decisions. So I feel really good about our process um, that we're going through right now currently. Um, and I feel good about the prospects of whether it be pick A, pick B, pick C, or whatever the case may be, that we can find a guy that's right for us. So then what will a prospect that you interview in Indianapolis find when they walk into the Atlanta Falcons meeting room for their 15 minutes? What Walk me through what, uh, what you're going to put them through so you can tire kick them appropriately. Coach. You know, I think it's a little further than that, Rich. Um, yeah, as you know, like these guys are all coached up now, right? For these 15 yeah, minutes. That's why I'm asking, know. like, how are you going to throw them off? Do you want to, you want to get, you want to get the real in your and 15 you, minutes, you know, and, you know, you don't want to go super dramatic in these moments and right. end up on your show for doing something the wrong. <laughs> <way>. <laughs> no, by the way, just understand this. I'll push back here. Winding up on my show is a good thing. Okay. You understand? No, you know, Rich, it, on your show, yes. it's a good thing, you know, particularly with some of the things that I know you represent. Thank you. Uh, and some of the stuff that you've held with the Run Rich Run and all that type of stuff. Oh, but you're kind. But yes, you know, those 15 minutes are really to get um, a, guy, a guy's personality out. You know, what you got to really trust and rely on and you got to build this trust over time is what the gathering information has come even before this moment. Right. And you want to just see people be honest. You want to see people be able to communicate, be open, um, be deliberate about their their, their intentional um, goals and things of that nature. But, you know, realistically, um, some of the work and some of the background things, whether to see whether the guy fits with you or not, um, is already done and behind the scenes. Um, and the people that we never know would be talking about us in these in these settings. So, you know, a lot of those things would be done. Uh, some of those envelopes won't have to be pushed in that 15 minute interview. Right. Um, some of those things would be done in different settings. And. Um, you get the real lot of people uh, when they're going through some of the adverse times with the people that they went through and they pass. So then writ large, then what are you looking for? What, what do you want to, what do you want to see? What are you hoping to elicit then? You know, um, you want people to come in and be honest and you want to hear honest assessments of themselves. Uh, you like to hear honest evaluation of points about themselves um, to give you some little self-awareness about who they are and what they are. Um, and when they come in, they can do those things. Those are the things that mostly impress you. Um, because you have your opinions. And if, if people are able to sit there in front of you and, and really tell you um, how they've gotten better over the years, some of the things they feel they can get better at, um, some of the things, some of the ways they and the tools they've used in order to get better. Mm -hmm. I think those are the things that, that, that make people, um, what you're looking for, um, really attractive. You know, this, you know we're, we're in a people's business. Um, it'd be no different. That would never change. So you're looking for good people. And what uh, what will the Falcons, in your estimation, look like? What can you tell fans who are wondering what the Raheem Morris Falcons will look like and how it might be different from the previous iteration of the Falcons? You know, you really don't have to even get into what the previous iterations of the Falcons are. You more want to talk about what it's going to look like for us yes. and how we're going to follow our fundamental plan of our pillars and how we want to set those things up and how we want to move into the direction of winning football games. And really what we want to establish is a sustainable winner. We want to establish that in a way where we could be competitive at the highest ranks um, at the end of the season, you know, into January, into February, and moving into those games that we all want to play in. And I, and I just believe um, those are the things that your fans want. Those are the things that you want from an ownership group. Um, those are the things that you want from a, uh, everybody in our building. And I think surrounding ourselves with the right people, uh, we can put ourselves in play to do those things right now, right away. And, I don't think that has to be a secret or something that we hide from. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.